you are the man really in charge of ensuring security against flooding. I mean, I'm please ahead of the team. So I'm very happy and we are very privileged to have you here. The questions that we would like to ask is really about uh, your job first. What does it mean? Because we, we don't know about what being a dike warden means. Uh, we only heard of wardens of hostels in universities where the students stay. So this is very interesting. What are their responsibilities? And of course, the Netherlands is very famous for dikes. And they must have evolved enormously over time. If you could just give us, uh, uh, in a nutshell, what are they like now and how they have evolved? And uh, uh, you see the previous speaker spoke about AI, digitalization and all that. Has the utilization, maintenance and the governance also change with uh, the inception of modern technology? And finally, is all this, in your opinion, um, enough to protect all the Dutch cities and uh, you know reassure the Delta plan given by Professor Ritson? Thank you so much. Over to you. Yeah, thank you. Just a quick uh, check. Uh, everybody can see the PowerPoint now. Just nodding your head is, uh, is okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, first of all, um, my presentation is uh, in, in in four uh, items. Uh, first of all, a short introduction of myself, and then history of the regional water authorities. So the water skips. Uh, Netherlands and water disasters go um, uh, along for many centuries and solutions for now and in the future. Uh, short introduction, um, I'm dike warden since 2017. You can compare it uh, the best with a uh, mayor from um, uh, yeah, from, from a big uh, city. In the whole, we have uh, 21 uh, water skips in the Netherlands and there, thereby we um, uh, it's it's uh, 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 connecting with the, the complete uh, Netherlands. Uh, before I was a regional minister of the province of Limburg, and therefore I was uh, elderman. Um, okay, uh, the regional water authorities, this the, the waterschappen, as we call them in Dutch, um, they are the eldest uh, government which we uh, know in the Netherlands um, since uh, 1255. There were uh, waterschap and water authorities. So uh, before there were provinces or the Netherlands as we know them now, there, are, there were already uh, the water authorities. Um, we now have three main tasks. Task one is, uh, in, uh, is in, in the pulse on climate adaptation. Um, too much water to, to uh, uh, water shortage uh, and of course the water uh, 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 Quality, um, the quality of water. Um, we clean water, we clean uh, sewage water. It's by law um, that we have to do that. And of course, uh, flood risk management, that is also a task by, uh, by the law uh, given to us. Um, uh, first of all, um, the theme of uh, the water protection. Um, uh, when we go many centuries ago, we, we protected us against water just by uh, making a, a pile of clay. We call it a dike, and uh, that's it. And when we make a major step, we had uh, windmills uh, um, with which we were capable of um, um, drying the land and keeping the land uh, dry. And the next step was the steam pumpings. Um, of course, starting with the Industrial Revolution, which was a major step in um, drying the land, keeping the land dry. Um, and that led uh, in 1891 uh, that it was possible to live below sea level. Uh, in many parts of the Netherlands, five by seven meters below sea level, where people live, uh, millions of people, uh, by those innovations from, uh, from the past. Um, but we had also we had also uh, we had also to face uh, many crises in the Netherlands. Um, now, especially um, in uh, 2023, we remember the crisis um, 
uh, 1953, um, in which many people in Zeeland, one of our thousand um, uh, provinces, uh, uh, caused with their uh, debt. It led also to new innovations, as you can here see. Um, the Delta Works, uh, world famous, and um, uh, often this is said, God created the world, but the Dutch created the Netherlands. And this is a fine example uh, uh, of which we uh, created our uh, our own uh, country. So technical, uh, civil technical uh, solutions for protecting us uh, against uh, water. The crisis of um, uh, 1953 uh, uh, leads to the first level of standardization, and that is in his, that is historical. It's a national standardization, and uh, it was then and. Um, nowadays, still, it's it's uh, rather unique in the world that we had, um, uh, yeah, levels of protection standardized by uh, by law uh, on a national uh, level. But that wasn't enough. We had again a crisis. We needed again a crisis, and that was uh, the high tide in ninety three and ninety five. Uh, but this was a crisis where the levels of the rivers uh, created the crisis. Uh, 1953, it was the sea, and now it were the rivers. Um, and here you see examples of uh, on the left side, an example of the north of the province of Limburg, uh, and on the right side, and the, the south um, a part of the province of, uh, of Limburg. And that led, uh, of course, uh, to a lot of pain and uh, damage. Um, and that led uh, again to an actualization of the uh, standardization of uh, water protection. And it goes along the three, um, uh, three themes. Sorry to do what you couldn't mark it. Um, uh, the standardization, uh, uh, the, first of all, um, we say not more than one person on 100,000 persons. Uh, 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 has to die uh, with, uh, um, in a crisis. Um, the second is uh, the amount of uh, residents and how, um, uh, how simple you can evacuate these persons. And the third uh, item is um, the, economical, uh, the economic value of the area. And the, in these three items... Um, uh, um, is, is the basis of the standardization. And so therefore, uh, for example, uh, Rotterdam, um, the, the, the sea harbor, has a level of um, uh, one to 10,000 uh, uh, in a year. Uh, and um, when you look at the, um, uh, at, at the province of Limburg, it is uh, uh, one in the 100 years. So uh, by these three items. Um, and that led uh, again to more technical solutions like here, the removable barriers. Um, in the province of Limburg, we have more than 200 uh, places where we built up these uh, removable uh, barriers. It's uh, 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 all together 4.2 uh, 4 kilometers on removable barriers and that are more barriers than all the other water skips in the Netherlands uh, together because we have a very complex uh, issue in the province of Limburg. We have also, and there you can see a fine example here on this picture, by self-closing barriers. Um, we have to imagine that by rising the, 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 the level of, uh, of the water, um, um, the same water is, is pushing up a barrier from uh, from the ground. So it's powered by water. It's no electricity necessary. It's just uh, the power of water which uh, rises uh, the, the the barrier. Um, another example of innovations are these uh, uh, glass uh, walls, um, uh, strong enough to uh, um, to face. Uh, um, a ship um, bunking on uh, on, the, on the glass. So all uh, technical solutions for a problem caused by uh, nature, especially by uh, by water. Um, but let's look at it at a broader uh, view uh, in the perspective of climate change and, and what means it for us as a as a water uh, authority. 
Um, here, see, uh, I think uh, these pictures are familiar to you, but uh, to make sure, um, uh, on the X, as you see um, the years, uh, it goes 800,000 years ago, and on the um, uh, vertical uh, um, uh, X, you see the CO2, uh, CO2 concentration, and you see uh, it is... Um, um, uh, it, it goes in, in, in the broad band, uh, but uh, at the end, at the start of the Industrial re uh, Revolution, uh, you see that the amount of CO3 is um, uh, enormously um, progressing. That leads to uh, new problems. Uh, and uh, uh, to show it, you see here the level of temperature rising uh, during um, the last uh, century. Um, and um, now I think we are in at the Second World War, it's the 1970s, and um, it's getting warmer and warmer. Um, and so we end with 2014. It's getting still hot, so you can uh, imagine how it is after 2014 to 2023. And that leads to uh, uh, new problems. Um, that raises the question, um, uh, are civil engineering solutions uh, also good for our future? Um, this, the civil solutions which we created um, started uh, with the Industrial uh, Revolution. And, um, uh, according to my opinion, we have to go back uh, for the future. We have to go back to nature-based uh, solutions, just as I showed in the earlier moment, uh, just take clay, uh, pile it up, and you created a dike, um, this natural-based uh, solutions. Um, uh, and for a start, um, perhaps we have to start with uh, an, a hybrid approach, so civil and nature-based solutions. You see here the river of, uh, uh, of, of Nier. It uh, goes through the small village of, uh, of Nier and further on, it ends in uh, the big river, uh, the Maas. And you can imagine when the Maas level is rising, uh, the level of... Um, uh, of, of, of the near uh, stays low uh, and the near can't get his like, can't get the water in the mass and uh, so the small village of the uh, near will be flooded not by uh, the big river the mass but will be flooded by the smaller river uh, the near and here we have a hybrid solution you can see the wire which we close and then will the water uh, overland uh, go further um, uh, and ends at the uh, at the mass uh, a few kilometers further on. So we use uh, nature, the the the, the level of uh, the landscape, for solving a um, flood uh, uh, issue. Uh, or when we look at the Grens Maas near Maastricht, it's the largest uh, river widening uh, project uh, created in uh, Europe. Uh, and there, in 93 and 95, um, the small towns like uh, Borgaren and Itteren were flooded, uh, and it worked perfectly um, in, in 2021. Uh, everybody uh, stayed uh, dry because we give the river its natural habitat back, uh, so to say. So these are nature-based solutions. Uh, according to my opinion, uh, this is also the way which we have to uh, go further on. Uh, and then um, the last example of a river based solution. This is uh, uh, a picture of the several uh, um, um, heights in the, in the landscape. So red means uh, high and uh, blue means uh, low. And this is an example of in the north of the province. Um, the the, the the purple part is the, uh, the, the mass, and you can see a um, uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, meandering uh, part uh, near Merlo and, uh, and Wansum. Uh, for a few years ago, uh, there was no water flowing. We um, um, took down so several houses and we gave the river its room back. 
uh, and it paid off in 2021. Uh, the complete area was flooded, but um, the areas where people live were uh, protected against the uh, enormous amount of, uh, of water. So it's, uh, and uh, here you have an example where we give uh, the river its, uh, uh, its, its, its room uh, back. And the nice uh, solution of this project is uh, uh, 33 uh, centimeters of uh, level uh, low uh, of water levering, but we also uh, created uh, 360 acres of uh, nature. The livability of uh, the town of Wansom was uh, enormous improved. Uh, we created uh, chances for tourism and recreation, and uh, the local uh, harbor port is um, enlarged for for two times. So it it was an, an combination. Uh, an integration of uh, several uh, goals which we um, um, created here. Uh, then um, the last part of my presentation, uh, July 2021, uh, there was again a national disaster of uh, historic proportions. It were three crises in one. First of all, an, an enormous amount of rainfall in the south of the province of Limburg. Um, uh, statistically, um, in, uh, in, in, in the occurrence of uh, one in 500 years or one in thousand years and um, uh, uh, soon after uh, there were uh, risings of the, the small rivers like the Geul, the Ruhr, uh, which added also water and then we had again uh, the crisis of, uh, of, of the mass um, uh, the mass level was also rising to uh, uh, 3,300 cubic um, meters uh, per second and these three crises uh, happened uh, in the, in a day uh, together, uh, and we were uh, forgotten that we uh, uh, not only had to uh, uh, um, not hand, not only had to look at the, at the mass, uh, but also the the secondary uh, river system, um, and that leads to the, the conclusion that we have to look at the, the water system as one uh, system. We have to look at it uh, cross-border because, as we all know, in Belgium and in Germany, there were also big disasters, also rivers which uh, starts in Belgium or starts in uh, Germany but ends in the, in the Netherlands, in the province of Limburg, um, and that we have to um, uh, create more solutions uh, on nature-based and only uh, technical uh, solutions. And the overall conclusion um, at the end of my short presentation is we should not work against nature, but we should work along with nature.